Hey guys, today I want to show you what I've been working on for the last couple of months. I've cancelled my Black Ops 4 mod because I didn't enjoy it, working on it anymore and it was just too big for me. And I've chose to do this because it, this uses a web application and I want to become a web developer, so that's nice for my portfolio. So what is this? It's a project called Black Ops Custom Records. And it's pretty much a web application site combined with a mod with uh, the main purpose to track stats in custom maps from Black Ops 3. So as you can see it has different maps. You can have different records li uh, like high rounds, no power and then you have the rounds itself or time, whatever record type it is. So. It's all uh, locked. Uh, login session is via, via Steam, so you don't have to worry about me keeping the uh, email address or password in a weird way. Uh, for the mappers itself, it uses a pretty simple system. You can just edit it all on the site. This mod is very special because it can connect with my site itself. It's never been done before. so. You can edit it here, so as you can see, when you open the mod, it just likes it just it looks just like the normal Black Ops 3 menu, but we have a records button. When you click on it, you can see a CMD uh, command prompt popping up, and that just makes uh, connects makes a, a request with the server, and it gets the information from maps and records from the server itself. So as you can see here, Zombie Garage 2, uh, we have two records on it with already some submissions. You can also click it to instantly go to the site. But if we have a look here, we now have two records, but I can set this to private. Private. And when it's set to private, you go back and you open it again, it is instantly gone. So that's the power of the connecting with the server. You don't, you don't have to update the map on the workshop to make it happen happen in game. So uh, with this system that I'm using the mapper doesn't have to uh, do any scripting in this map it, it can be done all in the uh, site itself so even old maps that don't have access anymore to the source files you can also add them right here without a problem. So I'm going to show you you can just enter a game I'm going to use zombie garage 2 um, it also makes use of the Steam item ID when loading the map so it knows uh, which map it is so it doesn't use the cm underscore map name thing so people can't just make a new map with the same name and use that. That was the CMD popping up for getting the right records and you can see when I'm at the boss menu you can see the records are here the personal records aren't updating yet but we can just use it and I'm going to skip a couple rounds and see go to round 3 and 4 and turn on the power to see that there's a difference and the great thing about this mod is that you don't have to record your actual gameplay because it gets submitted by itself so other, there are other sites that need submissions but some people don't have the right PC a strong PC to do that so with this you don't need a high high-end PC to s actually submit records of course this is there's one problem with this and that is that there might be cheaters but I've implemented a system to check if they uh, aren't cheating so you don't have to worry about people getting fake submissions by just sitting in a, a glitch box So the way this works, like for no power for example, it just keeps track of the record. Um, it al always keeps track of the record until it gets disabled. So when you get to round 15 without power but still can then turn on the power and then still continue, it will still submit the uh, round 15 as your round without, without power. So I'm going to turn on the power here so that won't get updated anymore. But now when I go 
to a higher round, it will still submit the higher round. Um, of course, for the mappers, um, if you want this uh, working with your map, you can uh, message me on Discord. Uh, so that way, when this site and mod actually gets released, um, there are plenty of maps available for players. So there aren't like just a couple of maps. Um, I also want to extend this uh, mod in the future with like a um, level system, um, maybe a system for uh, teaming up so people can instantly join you or maybe even a, um, a uh, system like public matches. I want to look into all that kind of crazy stuff that wasn't possible before. record round four that's pretty nice I think so let's end the game for now and now when the game ends it will just submit the record and when we go to the side you can see um, that for the new high round is four and um, the no power it doesn't get updated so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you will use it. We'll use the mod and side when it gets released. Um, and then I'll see you guys next time. Bye.